Hello everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at making additive squelches with Vital. Okay, so I'll just play a clip and it's not arranged or anything, it's just like a randomly generated squelch that you're going to hear and then we'll make it. Okay, so as you can tell, it's capable of making quite a wide variety of timbres, uh, not just sort of pure squelch sounds. So, to make this type of noise, what you're going to need to do is get an instance of Vital, and then what you're going to want to do is pop into the Wavetable Editor. It's this little uh, pencil icon. Then what we're going to do is go over to Modifier, Frequency Filter. Okay, now we need to click on the keyframe down here and then go to Bandpass Mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the shape for this first keyframe all the way down at zero. And I'm going to set the cutoff to zero also. And then I'm going to make another keyframe, drag it to the the far end, set the cutoff as high as it'll go, and I'm going to set the shape at roughly 0.5. Now you can set this up however you want, it's totally up to you. This is just uh, how I've been doing it. Maybe let's even go a little bit, maybe closer to 0.25 and see how that goes. Okay, so you should now have a sort of additive uh, filter sweep. I've already got some uh, delay on this because it just helps to get the idea. Okay, so essentially this is just like when we have a band pass in the filter section on a saw. Uh, apart from now, when we manipulate the pitch, we don't have to worry about the pitch and the filter cutoff lining up. So let's get a macro, set that up on the pitch. And let's make it bipolar and leave it at 48 for now, and that'll do. And put the other one over here on the wavetable position. Apart from, to start with, they'll go in the same direction. And we want them to go in the opposite direction of each other. Okay, so you can have a play around with how much modulation depth, what pitch you're playing, and all cool different stuff you can play with, just to make life easier for ourselves. Let's just have an LFO controlling this macro for us. Let's set it to seconds just for the moment. Put on sync mode as well and grab ourselves something to generate MIDI. I'm going to use Autoplay from Altar of Wisdom. If you uh, want a copy of that, check the link in the description. Just quickly set this up to produce some notes for us. Okay. Now let's get uh, random, put it on the timing, and maybe go with a sample and hold or something. Yeah, just so you can sort of start generating some random stuff. If you want to do it by hand, just play with the macro yourself. And now, this is where the sort of glassy side of it comes in. Let's have this spectral time skew. And let's use uh, random on that. And again, I'm going to go with a sample and hold. So 
so it's capable of producing some pretty wacky textures. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that quick video, and I shall see you next time.